Hello everybody and welcome back to Potion Permit. So last time we went on a hunt through the forest for people who don't like us, but we found all the stuff and our house is still an absolute mess. Um, but it looks like we do have a request from Zhao, so we should be able to get there if we leave now, I think. Hi Corvo! How you doing, bud? Do you know where the town hall is, Corvo? We moved here yesterday. Nobody tells me anything. Ooh, 25 gold? I want that. Hang on, there's gotta be a map or something. Oh, things to read! I love me some lore. You haven't met this character yet, you haven't met this character yet, you know, no, there's so many, no, I'm, I need to meet. Forrest has been impressed by Yabby's performance so far. He told Yabby to meet Zhao at the town hall. Okay, that one. We've got potions. Do we have any? Okay, it's just the ones up here. Let's see what these do. A mixture with a very pure color, wonderfully warming on the skin. Selling price 140, cures itchiness. A very thick, soothing balm with a slightly herbal scent. Cures rashes, selling price 135. A cream-like potion with a strong cooling effect and powerful antibacterial properties. Selling price 135, cures bruises. A liquid potion. Just a single drop will moisturize skin of any texture. Oh shit, can I get that? 150. Cures clammy patches. Violet mist. A mist that changes color and evaporates quickly when applied. Cures lumps. 150. We've also got basil, a natural herb with a pleasant scent. A kitchen must-have in the meadow range. A wildflower- daisy, a wildflower, usually found in clusters, commonly used both as an ingredient and as decoration, meadow range. Flowery herb with a sweet fragrance usually grows in tropical regions, meadow range. Lemon balm, a wild bush with a mild lemony scent, commonly used to flavor tea, meadow range. What else we got? Anything else? Ooh, misc. Oh, a super sticky substance that can stick to almost any surface, smooth and rough, meadow range. A clump of mushroom spores that's not very useful and even less valuable, dang it. Bear claw, a symbol of courage. Only Moonbury's Island's most fearless hunters have one. I am fearless. Mushroom, a pro protein-rich food source, often overlooked because everyone, but everyone loves it. Honey, eating a teaspoon a day can boost the immune system. All right, what else we got? Cooking. Oh, apple juice. Pressed for apple juice is tart but refreshing. It is. Apple juice is delicious. We've also got some little guys. We've got a greed bonnet. This mushroom-shaped monster is easily spotted roaming in fields. Don't be fooled by their bunny-like ears. They will headbutt their opponent to bring them down. Green blob, a single-cell life form. Many believe these monsters have no brain or emotions and only move by instinct. Although they have chlorophyll-producing genes in their DNA, they still need food to survive. Mini green blob, cells from an exploded green blob. This cell splitting mechanism is blob's final line of defense. They tend to be weak, causing disarray and confusion by scattering and then running away. Honey paw, not really your average heartwarming bear. Honey paws are very aggressive. They grow sharp nails for scratching and can grab honey from hard to reach spots and trees. Heck yeah. All right, town hall. Oh yeah, I was looking for a map. I got distracted. Uh, ah. Oh, okay, we were going the right way. Who are you? Talk to me. Come back again after you've shown us what you're really made of, kiddo. Okay. Uh, but we I have to walk the same way as you. This is really awkward. Alright, bye. The door is locked. Zhao! Let me in! I wonder where she's going. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Oh, she working out! She's probably so annoyed with me right now. I won't leave her alone. Alright, well now that we know where that is... Oh, what's this? Bulletin board. This board displays an, any information of interest around Moonbury, like friendship events. An icon will be displayed over the board when there's something new to check out. There are several identical boards around town you can view. Okay, we don't have any news. Events cannot be started with insufficient trust level or if related characters are currently sick. I don't think anyone trusts me right now, and they're probably already sick of me, so I doubt we're gonna get anything. Hannah's house. I just broke into this house. Hannah! Ooh, can I take Hannah's stuff? Hannah has cool outfits! I better leave before somebody finds me in here. Okay, it's 820. 
I can stop snooping. Oh, who are you? Sorry, sweetie pie. Let's have a drink after you show me you're for real. All right, but I'm gonna hold you to that. Open. Oh, who are you? I like your hair. You're here. So you passed the first test with flying colors. I got lost for a long time. Looks like I'll have to raise my expectations a little. Oh, well, don't, don't hurt yourself. And now, let me introduce you to Runeheart. So, you're the chemist. This me. I've asked Runeheart to repair the cauldron in your house. Let's head over there together now. Oh, great, a walk with my friends. Are you guys my friends? I really want some friends. So, this is the rusty old thing that needs a fix-up? That's right. Can you do it? Piece of cake. All the sounds of work. Whoa! Oh, it already looks so much better. She's all ready for you. Well, that's me done. Take good care of her, okay? I will, I promise. It's the nicest thing anyone said to me so far. Well, now you've got yourself a working cauldron. Let's make some potions. I'm sure that won't be a problem. You are a chemist after all, right? Ha! You figured it out. This entire thing has been a prank from the Medical Association. I don't know shit. I'm <laughs> wasting your time. If you need more materials, you'll find plenty of resources around Meadow Range. Once you're done, you can meet me at the town hall. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right, bye. Leaving me again. Whoa! Cauldron unlocked. All right, we need to make the neutralizing herbal bomb and wound cleanser. All right. The cauldron is the main tool you use to brew potions. To start creating a potion, you will need a potion recipe. You can also upgrade your cauldron to increase its capabilities. All right, we need this one and wound cleanser. Can we make it? Ooh, each potion has a different puzzle shape that must be filled in. Mix and match puzzle pieces using materials available to you. Placing puzzle pieces that do not fit the required shape is not allowed. Some potion recipes have restrictions on the ingredients that you can use. Follow the instructions carefully to start brewing. The circle frame next to the cauldron indicates the maximum quality of materials you can use. If you exceed the maximum amount, you won't be able to start brewing. Ah, okay. It looks like we have five. Right, one. I probably don't have enough, do I? Uh... Hmm. Oh, 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 oh! There, okay, okay. Let's try this again. Can you rotate these? I don't think you can. Maybe you can't, maybe I'm just stupid. That, that, that's a very high possibility, honestly. Hmm. Alright, what if we go like this? And then... Aha! Start brewing. Whoa! Neutralizing herbal bomb! Awesome! The first step. Alright, now we need to make a wound cleanser. Alright, what do we got here? Let's see. Oh. I know what to do. Boom! Bada bing, bada boom! Make that potion! Woohoo! We are queen of this castle. Okay, we still have time. We could get there really fast. Hello, Corvo. We're doing the work today, Corvo. We're making that money. We're gonna get people to trust us and we'll all finally have friends. Not that you're not my friend. You're my best boy. You're my bestest friend ever and ever and ever. You always will be. But I also want other friends, you know? I want to extend my reach a little bit. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I think I am. I probably am. Oh! 
Okay. <laughs> oh, everyone's working out today. You're an outsider here. You better not do anything suspicious. Apparently that wasn't suspicious. Alright, where are we doing? Going over here. Oh, it's you! It's working great! You're just a spoiled graduate from the capital. All title, no skill. I was fucking complimenting you! And your awesome skills! Oh! See, they're all talk now, but then they're gonna get sick, and who are they gonna have to come to? Me. Where did it lead you? Back to me. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not vengeful at all. Alright, we made it. What's up? Are you done with my request? I am. I finished it. I'm very fast. Well, well. Not bad, Yavi. I guess the Medical Association really have sent us a decent chemist this time. We haven't had one around here since... The accident. Anyway, I'm <laughs> just not gonna elaborate. I shall put together a report for Meyer. I'm sure he'll be pleased. Well, he's the only one who's been nice to me so far. I hope you know that. I heard what you said about me. The mayor's expecting a lot of you, Yabby. I do good under pressure. <laughs> That's all for today. We'll continue tomorrow. Woo! We got the request done. Now we should... Hey, buddy. Um, I want to explore the town a little bit. I want to see if we can talk to anybody. I mean, nobody's probably going to talk back to us, but we can try. Ooh, Opal Heart. Oh, is she the blacksmith? I mean, she was lifting some hardcore weights, so... Any blacksmith worth their salt at least knows how to lift a dumbbell. Uh, ooh, pirates. Dev's house. Oh, this is where the game developers live. No, I'm kidding. Ooh, I want that hat. I want that hat. Oh, hello! Yabby, I beg you, please work harder so everyone can trust you. Question mark, question mark? Okay. I, I mean, I did, I worked as hard as I could today. But there's nothing else for me to do. I guess I could go back to Meadow, Meadow Place, but I want to explore a little bit. You know, it's probably not going to earn any trust if I break into people's houses. That's probably gonna piss them off even more, if I had to guess. Eh, but who cares what they want? What's over here? Oh! Oh, who are you? Hey, you'd better tread carefully. We're watching you. Always watching. <laughs> Always. Hello! Uh, I don't know if it's okay to talk to you right now. Everyone has told me not to. Well, do your own thing. Don't follow the pack, you sheep. Freaking sheeple. Are you a sheep too? Chemist, right? Show me you're good enough. Then we'll speak. All right. I respect you. And your violently cleaning of that glass. What's in here? Oh, their kitchen looks so much nicer than mine. I think that's a kitchen. Probably not. Arcade center? What? They have freaking arcades? I wanna play! Sit, sit, play! Oh! Okay. Tutorial. Oh! Okay, don't hit the girl ones, I guess. Oh! <laughs> ah! You didn't get me this time! I saw you! Oh fuck, I got him! Ooh, that one's good! Ooh! Oh shoot! <laughs> ah. Go away before I hit you too! Oh! <laughs> oh, you don't need to press A. Okay, I was pressing A to go with it. Oh, gotcha! 3,000 is not bad! Oh, they give up! Ha! <laughs> Losers! Oh! Wait, I could totally get the high score! I'm taking it! Alright. Same score as last time. Alright, one more try.
I did it! Yeah! <laughs> that high score is mine! I think we just beat the game. Alright, I won. Did you see that? Look it, will you talk to me now? Did you see how good I did? Oh god. Fine. They don't know about me and my cool whack-a-mole skills. Alright, where else can we go? Oh, the police department. I'm sure they'll be happy to see me. Oh, you look fancy. We're watching you. Mind how you behave. Ah, uh, I feel so welcomed here. Alright, what's over here? Oh, I think maybe Forrest will be over here. Can we talk to Forrest and he won't be a dick to us? Forrest! Are you in here? No. Dang it, why do I break into people's houses and they're never there? It's almost like I'm not supposed to be in there. Alright, well I'm gonna gather some ingredients. We'll see if we find anything new. Oh, hi, Forrest! Step aside, chemist. Talk to me once you've shown you can actually work. I did show you! I showed you yesterday! Does that really not mean anything? You guys have, like, very high standards. Oh! I got iron ore! That's cool! I didn't know you could get that. Oh, big tree. Big boy tree. Big boy tree. Knock over big boy tree. Oh, what's that? Tasteless sap. Oh, and we got bitter tasting sap. Oh, there's more than one sap, apparently. Alright, I think we will go home now, though, and we'll see what the next day brings. Maybe somebody else will have a request for us. Maybe they'll want to be my friend and not use me to gather ingredients for potions for someone else. Hello! Well, well, chemist, the nature on this island is brutal. You should work harder. I have killed, like, three honeypaws. What have you been doing other than standing here? It seems that no one trusts you, chemist. Please be careful. Oh, well that was nice. I mean, it could have been meaner. Seems like it was just a warning I was given, which I appreciate. I mean, I already knew that, but I appreciate it. And um, I think... Let me rearrange my bedroom. There we go. That's a little nicer. We've got our stuffies, we've got our clock, and now we've got our bed. Let's go to sleep. Ah, it's morning. A beautiful day, a beautiful dawn. Let's see. So I got nothing, but we do got new stuff on here. Ah, tasteless sap. A slimy, tasteless substance harvested from a tree, usually only consumed for survival purposes. And bitter tasting sap, a mouth numbing fluid pr produced by trees. Unsurprisingly, wild animals aren't keen on it. And iron ore, an impure metal with low iron content, varies in color. Oh! Yabby! Roof's back! We've taken her to the empty clinic. Oh! Are you sure it's safe in there for a sick child? Come quickly, follow me. All right, but she might get freaking tetanus before I can help her. But look at those rusty bed frames. She's gonna get freaking tetanus. Maya, Yabby. Should have just put her in my bed. Here she is. Would you please check her over? She's gonna have tetanus, guys. Who is this? What are you doing here? Matthew. This is Yabby, the chemist from the capital. Yabby, this is Matthew, Moonbury's witch doctor. Oh, competition? What is the meaning of this? You brought someone over from the capital? Matthew, let's discuss this later. First, you have to explain what happened to Rue. Oh, he angry. We still don't know what's wrong with her. I tried everything I could, but it wasn't enough. Yabby, is there anything you can do? Please help my daughter. I can do it. I'll try my best. 
my neck feels weird. All right. Ah, whenever an unknown symptom appears on a patient's body, you will identify it first through diagnosis. Once you perform the diagnosis successfully, you will know which disease the patient has. Okay, neck feels weird. Let's analyze the neck. The goal of this minigame is to press the input that appears, landing on the right input and within the hitbox. You will lose progress bar points if you press wrong input or press outside the hitbox. Your performance during the minigame will affect your patient satisfaction level. Alright. Okay, it's that. Alright. I just whacked through whack-a-mole, so I should be good at this. I destroyed whack-a-mole. I can destroy this. I've missed two already, but let's not talk about that. There we go. What did I find? Oh. She has tetanus. <laughs> How is she? Will she be alright? Um. The sunworn symptom. Yes, and tetanus. Hmm. Yes, that's one of the symptoms, but the disease is far more complicated than we thought. Hmm. Oh, I'm talking a lot. You want to help? I won't let that happen. We shouldn't use any unnatural drugs on Rue. But if it might help my daughter... Please, do anything you deem necessary for her sake, Yabby. Got you. Oh, stop being a whiny baby. Do you want to live or not? Rue is still weak, Maya. My advice is that we should use our traditional methods to find a cure. She's gonna die of tetanus before that happens. I know I keep talking about that, but look at those bed frames. Using unnatural drugs from the capital might have side effects we're unaware of. Oh. But if they cure my daughter... Besides, Gabby can only use ingredients available on the island to cure her. If that's what you think is best, dear. Do you really believe that? Oh, Angie. If you mess this up, you'll pay the price. Oh. I'm not afraid of you. Do whatever you can for her, Gabby, please. If I could take down a honey bear, I can take down some old witch doctor. More like bitch doctor. Oh, did you hear that one, Rue? That was pretty funny, wasn't it? I think she's asleep. Okay, craft moonbrine. How do we do that? I'm <laughs> gonna leave her alone in that bug-infested, plant-filled house. Alright. Moonbrine. Strong mixer that kills germs and bacteria that cause sunworms. Can we do it? I think we should be able to- Oh, okay. I have one more honey paw. That's perfect. Hmm. Uh, if I, let's see, oh wait, bring, bring that back, let's use this, and this, a bear paw and some slime, we got this, moon brine, All right, Rue, I'm coming back. I'm gonna tell you that joke again when you wake up, and this time I want you to laugh, okay? Don't worry, I'll test you for tetanus afterwards. I wonder what that emergency thing is for. All right, all right, boom. Apply the moon brine. There we go. Treatment completed! Satisfaction. Oh, we did really good. Thank you. I can't wait to get back home to Papa. Oh, are you older? I thought- Hey guys, I did it in like five minutes. I don't know why it took you so long, idiot. <laughs> Bitch doctor, right, Rue? That's <laughs> so funny. Rue, my dear, are you feeling any better? Yes, I think so. Thank goodness. Oh, my little girl, you're finally cured. Do you feel strange at all, Rue? No, Mama. I've never felt so good. Thank you, chemist. We are profoundly in your debt. Can you start by making people be nicer to me? I'm glad to hear that. But you! What exactly was in that bottle? Oh, a bear paw and some slime residue. It's actually not that complicated. 
You must have given her some suspicious stuff. I mean, I guess a bear paw could be suspicious depending on how I got it. There's no way she could have been cured this fast. Maybe you're just bad at your job. Still lying, I see. I'll expose your little scheme. Dude, I just want to chill and have friends. Now, now, Matthew. Yabby is here to help Rue. Why can't we work together to find a solution? But this kid's from the capital. Have you forgotten what they did to our island? Certainly not, but times have changed. After all, I'm the one asking for help. Yeah, listen to Sir Topham Hat. You're just too impatient, Mayor. We tried all sorts of methods to cure her, but nothing worked. And if change can make everyone's lives better, who am I to refuse it? Good Mayor. You're better than Mayor Lewis, that's for sure. I'm disappointed in you. Oh my god! <laughs> if my commitment to this community means nothing to you. Feel free to ask this capital lackey for assistance. I'll gladly take it. Just don't come running to me for help. Nobody's gonna come to you. Walk away. Don't look back. Bye! It's alright. He used to be such a pleasant chap. <laughs> what happened? Did he get tetanus from here? I'm afraid he seems to have taken a dislike to you, him and half the town. He is a very idealistic person. Marielle, you'd better off home and let Rue get some rest. All right, darling. Have a good rest, dear. Yes, Mama. Oh. <laughs> Can we please take her out of this bed? Can we at least get one new bed? Let's move my bed in here. I'll sleep on the floor. Since Rue will be in the clinic for a while. Please keep an eye on her. Please tell me we can up upgrade the clinic. It looks so bad. And I shall send a letter to the medical association about your accomplishment. I'm sure they'll be happy to know how things are progressing. Oh, yay! Maybe people will actually be a little nicer to me now. Well, I think we're done here. I shall see you again soon. Hey, we did it! Oh, heck yeah. We showed that witch doctor once for. I didn't want to be mean to him, but he immediately went out the gates attacking me. I guess that's how everyone has been, though, so far. Oh, but what can you do? Either way, this has been a lot of fun, and I can't wait to continue. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself. Don't get tetanus from rusty hospital beds. And have a good day. Speaking of which, I need to check you for tetanus.